Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we have finally laid down the track, connected a couple of towns, and also laid down the signaling, and we're finally able to purchase some vehicles to finally get our railway services started. In the previous episode as well, I've forgotten to set the vehicles from Europe to North America, which I've been able to do, and in this episode, we're finally going to get started. Now, as you can basically see, there are a ton of different vehicles that we can use. Though, I'm going to replace this train with the gondolas. Actually, let me think. Okay, gondolas to pick up grain, deliver it to the distillery. Okay, the little 440 Americ, the Baldwin 060 will handle that delivery. And, oh, what's this? The general looks a lot different. That's because, recently, well, as of today, of this episode's recording, this game has received a special new beta update. There's a new quality of life update that's being made right now for the anticipation for the game's eventual release for consoles. Now we've got our two freight trains in place. Now we need to work on the express passenger trains. One from Java Berg into Leamington, as well as another from Java Berg into Greenwood. Let's see. Let's actually use the 440 General, and its passenger cars will be these. And for the other passenger train, we'll probably use one of the coal burning. 440s. I believe one of the good ones that I want to use that doesn't actually have a road number will probably be, well, road name will probably be number 128, I believe. Actually, no, we'll just use one of these 460, oh, one of the, one of these variants. Then we'll basically get, let's see, we'll get a reclustery RPO car, and add a salt, we'll add a St. Paul clustery baggage car, actually, or better yet, let's see, hmm, St. Paul baggage car, Pacific RPO. Hmm. Well, let's just basically just do the standard. Alright. That will give us a total of 10.6 million. Not to mention, this quality of life inch mod has also been. Well, quality of life update has also rearranged some tools and basically did some bug fixes. So now, all this entire game will be playing a lot more smoothly. Alright, so, you go on local train 1, and you go on local train number 2. Which reminds me, I gotta get the rest of the local train set up. Local train 3 will go into a Javaberg station. On track four, local, hang on, local train number three, and a new service from Javaberg down to Leamington on track two. What? Hang on. Yes. Track 2, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh, I think I know the reason. It's because it's on this track instead. That's fine. Alright. Let's basically do it like that. Lo we call this local train number 4. Let's see. Don't want to set up any vehicles yet. Okay. We'll set up. We'll set the freight train. 
this one on delivering grain. And this one delivering water. This will also run local train number three. And this one will handle local train number four. All right, now let's see. Alcohol needs to be brought into Longhorn. Actually, now that I think about it, why am I using that little, that old steam, that 080 on that particular consist? Let's see, freight train B1A, you will be replaced by something a little more stronger. Let's see. Hmm. We'll use the Baldwin 280, no, class 56 consolidation. Carry a total about, let's see, 210 units of grain in. Wait, hold on. Oh, right. I set it to a model where it only will be loaded into boxcars or any, or any enclosed freight car. We'll add a caboose on the back end of this train. That should give us some cash back. Now then, let's see. We need to get some trolleys running here. These trolleys have also been upgraded. So we'll basically get four of... We'll basically operate two of these for now. Well, actually four of these. Trolley service A1 and A2. Let's see if the routes that's going around are not basically. Hmm. All right, they're not overlapping. That's good. Let's see. We'll need to get a bus service here in Longhorn to transport passengers in. Now, I don't think I actually built a depot here the last time. So, let's see. Let's place one down there. And choose about four of these. Give them a yellow coat. And then put them onto the... Oh, I actually didn't set up a bus service yet. Well then. Connect these two points together. This will be known as bus service A. This will change to yellow. And then we'll need to set up a freight route. It will pick up loads of... Be, uh, barrels of alcohol in and deliver them into town here. So, let's see. This will be known as Truck Service A1 because it's actually serving the town. There'll be another type used for delivering raw goods from industry to industry. that taken care of, we'll need to set up another freight train to deliver loads of commodities. Okay, so let's see. Freight train C1, which is going to be the first of delivering liquor, um, li well, city products. Actually, we'll call this train City Supply 1. A. This one will basically be delivering alcohol. That is why I'll have to copy this. Sometimes my typing is not really that great. I don't want to underscore. I want to basically do that. These freight trains will be dark gray. They'll be full load, 10 minutes, 
you will pick up the loads on track. Yeah, track one will be okay. Now we need an engine to pick up those loads. Use the Camden and Amboy 080 and see. Can these carry barrels of alcohol? No, they cannot. Well, considering that alcohol needs to be kept in a good condition, we're just going to basically try to have about five of these Tiffany Custery refrigeration cars and then add a caboose to the back end of this to consist. Let's see, where is it? Ah, there we go. We'll put it onto that. And then we'll need to set up a truck service to pick up the loads of bar alcohol barrels and bring them into town. Let's see. This one carries about 10 units of cargo. Doesn't show alcohol. Thankfully, this one does. Since it carries 10 units each, this will be useful because it will carry all the 100 units in. At the same time, we also need to deliver the alcohol towards the brew towards the bottling plant on the other side of the track. So, we'll basically do it like this and expand the platform a bit to make sure there'll be plenty of room for the trucks to pull in so they won't block up the main road. And then truck deliveries of alcohol to be bottled will be go in here and trucks waiting to bring the alcohol into town will be here all right so You'll pick up loads of alcohol here, and bring them down to here. To unload and not pick up anything else. Since this is going to be the first of many, let's see, what color should I use? I'll probably use purple for this. So, we'll use Trucking Convoy A. There's not going to be a whole bunch of these being used. And we will just basically do the same again. We're delivering the bottled alcohol into town. Full load. 10 minutes. This will be known as Trucking Convoy B. So the green lines will basically only serve the warehouse to bring supplies into the town. Let's see. We'll need to basically carry about... Let's see. We'll buy 10 of these, put them onto that, and another 10 to do it on the other line. Let's see. Wait, why is there line 2? I don't want that for now. Alright. Now that we have everything set up for now, we can finally start making some money. So let's press the play button and see our vehicles exit the engine depot for the first time. As well as the rest of my vehicles too. Oh, I actually kind of forgotten. Since there are several crossings, I'll need to set up some whistle posts. Because for in real life, trains need to let people know at the crossings that there's a train coming. Otherwise, there's going to be a bit of an accident. Alright, that's taken care of. Then we'll just do the same here. Even though this part of the road has now been paved over, I'll need to fix that. Thankfully, I could use player ownership to basically keep the road as it is. So I won't have to worry about being changed later on. We'll also do this, and this, and this here for this road that leads to that lemon farm. As well as here, here, and here for this crossing right there. As well as the one near this grain farm. 
Now, with that everything taken care of, the vehicles are finally out, and they're ready to pick up their first loads of passengers, and ready to pick up their first loads of freight. Class 56 is heading up to pick up its loads of grain, the process of the brewery. The John Bull is heading out to pick up its first loads of passengers. Same for the 440 Norris, Virginia. And I believe one of the new engines that's been modified to use some quality of life update. My 440 number 110 will be heading out to pick up its passengers on one of its local routes. And once that is clear, I believe, yeah, the Baldwin 060 is coming out next to pick up its loads of water to be taken to the brewery to be processed into alcoholic drinks. And finally, the 080 Monster, I believe, is going to come out of the shed, or, no, it's the General, the new Louis of the General type. And I gotta say, that model looks really nice. It'll take its coaches, though, to be honest, I believe these coaches are kind of limited on their speed, and I think on their capacity. Let's see, this one carries 26. These carry 28. So, actually, we'll basically use these coaches instead. Not ideal, but at least if I use them once, they'll be okay. Alright. Now we finally got our freight operations and passenger operations finally started up. Alright, is there anything I need to do now? Well, the Java Berg terminal could use a little bit of renovation. The station doesn't look that great with all these rooms and underground passages, but in reality people can easily just walk over to their respective platforms and entering the station building. So we're gonna take all of these out and then basically replace this with a much more aesthetically pleasing station room. Of course, these need to go, and I also need to make sure that my passenger trains, well, locals, are going into their correct platforms. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting. You will be going to, uh, from Greenwood. To Java Berg on track five? Yeah. And same for this, you'll be going on track two instead of track one. And then we'll replace it with this 1850 station roof. Because let's be honest, the station is is in the late nineteenth century. Late nineteenth century. So, it should at least look pretty good. Grain is now being produced, and there's nearly enough to basically make a full load. The John Bull is already delivering his first load of passengers, and we already have our first passenger transported. And there's going to be more coming as the years go on. see anything else that needs to be done this station is already full to capacity for the first time we got over 67 people wanting to travel by trolley to the to the train station that is nothing short but incredible let's see anything else to do well this engine is having a bit of a difficult time climbing the grade out of the waterworks I think maybe I chose the wrong type of engine. Let's basically get it replaced with this locomotive, and it reassigned that Baldwin 060 for the much more flatter duty of delivering barrels of alcohol into Green into Longhorn. Look at this, and then this engine will now basically take care of the service. The grades are not too steep. And the cargo and the train constants is not too heavy. I also forgot to actually do this crossing as well. Silly me. 
But, yeah, I'm ecstatic. This is the beginning of a new era in transportation in this region. We got water being processed. Well, water being produced. We got grain being produced and being brought back as of right now I believe yep this train is fully loaded and heading back <laughs> sorry about that something odd just happened with my recording I have to put that out but other than that we also have delivered our first load of freight which is the barrels of water but it won't be too long until the 280 passes through with its freight train. All the while, some of our trains are starting to make a bit of a profit. Let's have a look. Okay, so I need to at least have a profitable passenger train, freight train, trolley, bus, truck, airplane, and ship each year. So, at least I got a profitable freight train, a profitable passenger train, a profitable trolley system, Profitable trucking operation, I believe. Well, eventually. I gotta get that done before 1881. But we have a profitable bus and trolley system, as well as a profitable freight and passenger train. We won't be operating ships for quite a while, but hopefully we'll be able to use as many as we can. Let's see. A sugar cane farm is not too far off wood basically connected and there's also this copper mill which is not too far off from this copper ore mine so we could deliver copper down the river and then deliver it by road to the mill and then we'll eventually switch over to transporting it by rail once we expand from java bird to connecting to ridgeland to be part of our railroad's own electrified mainline Actually, I think it's probably best if we get started on that right away. Let's see. We'll need to connect this shipping dock to here. And then do the same here. But we'll need to set up a trucking to pick up the loads of copper ore and bring it to the smelter. Just have to do is just curve it out. And then carefully... Oh! A new industry has been founded. A gold mine near Ridgeland. That could be beneficial for later. But right now, we got some cargo to ship. We'll connect this here. Expand this out. And then we'll basically add another truck stop here to unload the copper ore so it can be processed into copper bars. Now, I don't think we'll have any way to transport this copper ore right now. Well, to any industry, but it will eventually happen. We'll also place down a shipyard so we could buy a ship to be used in our operations. We'll set up a shipping route between here and here. This will be known as Shipping Route A. This will basically be brown. Shipping routes will be brown, always. Ten, load, 10 minutes to load up with copper, and then connect this and this, and this will be known as Trucking Convoy C. Alright, that done, we'll load it. We'll basically make it a full load, wait for 10 minutes, and then we'll basically place down a small depot here to pick up the loads, and to get the copper ore from the, well, to get vehicles to pick up the copper ore. We'll get about 10 of these horse-drawn carriages with side stakes. Assign it to that route, and as for ships, let's basically use a cargo ship to carry this. We don't have access to other types of ships right now. Well, we don't have the use for carrying passengers yet, but there's a couple of other ships that we eventually could use. But we'll use the British coaster because it carries a lot of cargo. It can carry about 300 units. 
All right, our ship has finally left the left the depot and is heading off to the mines to pick up its first load of copper ore to be brought down the river. So now we have not only land transportation with buses, trolleys, trucks, and trains, but now we have a shipping operation along the river. So, as of this episode, we have transported about 68 passengers and 420 units of cargo, and our alcohol distillery plant is now starting production. And our train is so picking up its first loads of alcoholic barrels to be taken to Longhorn. So, I believe we have reached a good ending point for this episode of the free mode campaign. Well, free mode game, I mean. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads on Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!